we actually have time anymore. Could we have oh. bring on our next amazing violinist, Lindsay Stewart? <laughs> And here we have Miss Lindsay Sterling, and I believe she's probably around 25 uh, this year. Uh, she's been uh, playing the violin for over 18 years, which is means that you know since she was like six or seven years of age, um, she was also writing plays around the age of eight, uh, according to the the wiki that they have uh, online. And then at the age of 16, she joined the uh, uh, the group Stomp on Melvin, and it probably explains uh, the reason why her page is called Lindsay Stomp, you know, because it is part of her uh, part of her uh, band name, not so much what she does when she performs. Uh, also, in um, about seven years ago, she uh, won the title of Arizona's Junior Miss. And, uh, yeah, uh, fantastic uh, violinist here. When I arrived in Anaheim on Thursday, and I met up with some, uh, some online friends there, uh, folks I know, like uh, Terry and Tammy Templeman, and uh, Lord Coyote. The um, it turns out that uh, even though I was filming uh, different uh, different fan boys, fan girls trying to get shots of people uh, who were internet sensations, or the funny thing is, is that when I met up with uh, with these friends of mine, uh, Miss Lindsay was actually standing right next to the door and so she was basically just right behind us. I had no idea what a talent she was or probably a better way of explaining this is I did not remember how much of a talent she was. You see in 2010 uh, Mr. Sterling auditioned for America's Got Talent fifth season uh, and I was already a fanboy of that series at that time. Uh, it was the same season that had like the Hot Shot Tap Dancers and uh, Prince uh, Poppycock. And uh, her audition uh, essentially wowed the judges. And then uh, she appeared briefly, very briefly on Vegas Week. And, uh, and they sent her through to uh, the, set, the uh, quarterfinals. It was at the quarterfinals that she melded her music into uh, some pop music. Unfortunately, that performance, uh, the pop music actually overwhelmed her violin playing. Uh, Pierce buzzed her, and it was her last performance on America's Got Talent. So I should have recognized Miss Sterling. I really should have as much of a fan of the show as I am. But she looked different, you know. Uh, she had nerdy glasses on, wore the outfit of a Japanese schoolgirl, and so uh, the way she looked at, um, at BitCon upon arriving on Thursday, totally different, of course. So, uh, yeah, here she's performing the song uh, Crystallize, 
Uh, that is also available on her uh, YouTube channel, so links are going to be down below if you want to hear a clear version and also get uh, a little bit of background, <laughs> no pun intended, of the, uh, of the set that is used behind her. And uh, it's actually a pretty, uh, pretty fascinating thing. Uh, and she's got links explaining that on, uh, on that video as well.